Tuesday night, President Trump is set to speak to the nation when he delivers his first State of the Union address. You can watch the president right here on CNN, and here's what I'll be watching for. No doubt President Trump will continue to tout the success of the U.S. economy during his first year in office. Indeed, the numbers are impressive. You only need to peek at your 401k to see the effect of the stock market soaring to record highs. America added 2 million jobs. Unemployment steadily ticked down to 4.1 percent, the lowest in 17 years. So on Tuesday, speaking before Congress and to all Americans, it's a no-brainer that a president so focused on the success of the American economy should be invested in continuing to get the tremendous benefits the U.S. receives from immigrants as job creators and innovators. There have been a lot of raised voices in the immigration debate. Here are the facts. Immigrants have founded more than half of America's startup companies valued at $1 billion or more. The research finds that among the billion-dollar startup companies, immigrant founders have created an average of approximately 760 jobs per company in the United States. And this is according to the National Foundation for American Policy, a nonprofit, nonpartisan organization. And that's not all. Separate research finds immigrants participate in the U.S. labor force at a slightly higher rate than native-born Americans. Immigrants are more likely to own businesses than native-born Americans. Immigrants are choosing to come to America, but they are not asking for a free ride. I come from a family of Mexican immigrants. While my grandparents were born here, many of their brothers and sisters, migrantios y tias, were not. They followed their own American dreams to become doctors and dentists and college professors. So I know firsthand how immigrants are contributing to this country, making America great. Since 2000, 33 of the 85 Americans to win the Nobel Prize have been immigrants. So, Mr. President, on Tuesday evening, please take the lead in striking a deal that continues America's great winning tradition when it comes to being a land open to all that are ready to work hard for a better life. Not for the immigrants, but in the interest of putting America's economy first and keeping America great.